bus and train users had extra reasons to smile today. Along with saving the planet, they also saved a bit of money. From today until the 1st of June, public transport fares across New Zealand have been halved. But as Giles Dexter reports, it could take a while to find out if it's made a difference to the passenger numbers. All aboard for some savings. The Transport Minister taking the airport link with 50% off. All right, on the way. From today, public transport fees all across Aotearoa are half price. For an average person who might take two $5 trips per day to go to work and then come home for work, they're going to save $25 a week. The government's putting up to $40 million into the scheme to help ease rising living costs, but also to attract more people out of their cars and onto buses and trains. Increasingly, it's a great way of getting around. In Auckland, passenger numbers are around 45% of what they were pre-COVID. Auckland Transport hopes the discount leads to a 25% bump, but encouraging more people onto a bus during the Omicron outbreak carries some risks. There's a lot of things around people working from home, um, different travel patterns, different behaviours, and um, people may be a little bit reluctant to um, get back onto public transport. But it's not just COVID putting them off. For me, just no buses out my way, so... It takes a long time, and I think it should be free. No, still a bit of a hassle. Those who did give it a go today say it made a difference. Normally it's 100 a month. I'm very pleased. It will certainly make me take the bus a little bit more. It's a nice, uh, nice opportunity to um, get a little bit of money back in the pocket. But it's too soon to tell whether cheaper fares have led to more bums on seats. Thank you. The fare reduction period is set to last for three months, but it could take up to two months to see the impact on passenger numbers. Public transport is set to feature in next month's budget, and the government isn't ruling out an extension. We are considering the role that fares have, but also alongside additional funding that we might need to put in to make sure that there are good routes, good reliability of services. Because if successful, the government may find it hard to justify returning fares to what they were. Charles Dexter, News Hub.